Thank you for joining with me. We are reading out of the Manual for Teachers, which is Volume 3 of A Course in Miracles. And we are in Section 4, What are the Characteristics of God's Teachers? And today we will read Honesty. All other traits of God's teachers rest on trust. I'm going to pause again and pray. Dear God, Please enable us to have an open mind and a new experience, setting aside everything we think we know in today's reading and all things. Thank you, God. So all other traits of God's teachers rest on trust. Once that has been achieved, the others cannot fail to follow. Only the trusting can afford honesty, for only they can see its value. Honesty does not apply only to what you say. The term actually means consistency. Let's read footnote 37. Even in ordinary English, the word honesty applies more than to what you say. It also refers to uprightness of character moral virtue. Indeed, an important synonym is integrity, which means both the quality of being honest and the state of being cohesive and whole. This combination is actually quite close to honesty as described in the above paragraph, in which the entire constellation of one's thoughts, words, and deeds is thoroughly consistent cohesive. As used here then, honesty refers to a kind of ultra-integrity. There is nothing you can say that contradicts what you think or do. No thought opposes any other thought. No act belies your word, and no word lacks agreement with another. Such are the truly honest." At no level are they in conflict with themselves. Therefore, it is impossible for them to be in conflict with anyone or anything. The peace of mind which the advanced teachers of God experience is largely due to their perfect honesty. It is only the wish to deceive that makes for war. No one at one with himself can even conceive of conflict. Conflict is the inevitable result of self-deception, and self-deception is dishonesty. Let's read footnote 38. The picture here seems to be one in which we first wish to deceive ourselves, which implies that one part of us wants to deceive another part. The two parts are thus pitted against each other. We are in a state of inner conflict, and we then reproduce this inner state in our dealings with others. We are in conflict with them and wish to deceive them. There is no challenge to a teacher. Challenge implies doubt, and the trust on which God's teachers rest, secure makes doubt impossible. Therefore, they can only succeed. In this, as in all things, they are honest. They can only succeed because they never do their will alone. They choose for all mankind, for all the world and all things in it, for the unchanging and unchangeable beyond appearances, and for the Son of God and His Creator. How could they not succeed? They choose in perfect honesty, sure of their choice as of themselves. Thank you so much for joining with me. I apologize, I'm getting sick again. (laughs) That's that's those thoughts, man. (laughs) Section 2, Manual for Teachers. Uh, This is not Section 2, this is Section 4, What are the Characteristics of God's Teachers? Part 2, Honesty. I love you. Thank you for joining with me.